Military Greetings. Welcome to Power Struggles Military Channel. Remarkable. The U.S. Navy Laser Weapon System, an SEQ-3, XN-1 laws. The an SEQ-3 Laser Weapon System or XN-1 laws is a laser weapon developed by the United States Navy. The weapon was installed on USS Ponce for field testing in 2014. In December 2014, the United States Navy reported that the law system worked perfectly against low-end asymmetric threats, and that the commander of Ponce was authorized to use the system as a defensive weapon. One purpose laser weapon system laws. The laws is a ship defense system that has so far publicly engaged an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV or drone, and a simulated small boat attacker. LAWS uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array which can be tuned to high output to destroy a target or low output to warn or cripple the sensors of a target. One of its advantages over projectile weapons is the low cost per shot. Each firing of the weapon requires only the minimal cost of generating the energetic pulse. By contrast, ordnance for projectile weapons must be designed, manufactured, handled, transported, and maintained, and takes up storage space. The laws is designed to be used against low-end asymmetric threats. Scalable power levels allow it to be used on low power to dazzle a person's eye non-lethally to turn away a threat, and to be used at high power, up to 30 kilowatts, to fry sensors, burn out motors, and detonate explosive materials. By lacing a vital point, laws can shoot down a small UAV in as little as two seconds. When facing small boats, the laser can target a craft's motor to disable it, then repeat this against other boats in rapid succession, requiring only a few seconds of firing per boat. Targeting the platform is more effective than targeting individual crew members, although the laws is accurate enough to target explosive rockets if on board, whose detonations could kill the operators. Against a larger aircraft like a helicopter, laws can burn through some vital components to cause it to crash. Two. History Laser Weapon System, Laws. In 2010, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions was awarded an $11 million contract to support the Naval Surface Warfare Center, NSWC, in the development of laws for the U.S. Navy's Directed Energy and Electric Weapon Systems, DE and EWS, program. The May 2012 NSWC test used a close-in weapon control system to enable the beam director to track an unmanned aerial vehicle target. The Navy spent about $40 million over the past six years on research, development, and testing of the laser weapon. It is directed to targets by the Phalanx CIWS radar. With tests going well, the Navy expected to deploy a laser weapon operationally between 2017 and 2021 with an effective range of 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, 0.87 nmi. The exact level of power the laws will use is unknown but estimated between 15 to 50 kilowatts for engaging small aircraft and high-speed boats. Directed energy weapons are being pursued for economic reasons, as they can be fired for as little as $1 per shot, while conventional gun rounds and missiles can cost thousands of dollars each. The Navy has a history of testing energy weapons, including megawatt chemical lasers in the 1980s. Their chemicals were found to be too hazardous for shipboard use, so they turned to less powerful fiber solid-state lasers. Other types can include slab solid-state and free electron lasers. The laws benefited from commercial laser developments, with the system basically being six welding lasers, strapped together, that, although they don't become a single beam, all converge on the target at the same time. It generates 33 kilowatts in testing, with follow-on deployable weapons generating 60 to 100 kilowatts mounted on a literal combat ship or Arleigh Burke-class destroyer to destroy fast-attack boats, drones, manned aircraft, and anti-ship cruise missiles out to a few miles. In the short term, the laws will act as a short-range, self-defense system against drones and boats, while more powerful lasers in the future should have enough power to destroy anti-ship missiles. Navy slab lasers have been tested at 105 kilowatts with increases to 300 kilowatts planned. Laser weapons like the laws are meant to complement other missile and gun-based defense systems rather than replace them. While lasers are significantly cheaper and have virtually unlimited magazines, their beams can be disrupted by atmospheric and weather conditions, especially when operating at the ocean's surface, 
and are restricted to line of sight firing to continuously keep the beam on target. More conventional systems will remain in place for larger and longer range targets that require the use of kinetic defense. 3. Deployment Laser Weapon System, LAWS The LAWS was deployed on Ponce in late August 2014 to the Persian Gulf with the U.S. 5th Fleet to test the feasibility of a laser weapon in a maritime environment against heat, humidity, dust, and saltwater and to see how much power is used. The system has scalable power levels to be able to fire a non-lethal beam to dazzle a suspect vessel, and fire stronger beams to physically destroy a target. Range is classified. Although neighboring Iran has threatened to block the Strait of Hormuz using small boat swarms that the laws is able to counter, it was not designed or deployed specifically to be used against any one particular country. Following a review of several ship classes to determine which had available space, power, and cooling, it was decided that after Ponce's planned decommissioning in 2018, the laws will be moved to the new amphibious transport dock ship USS Portland, LPD-27, for indefinite testing. It will utilize the space and power connections reserved for its vertical launching system to house the law's power and control modules while the laser itself will be bolted to the deck. Because the installation will be only a trial, laws will not be integrated into the ship's warfare system. In January 2018, the Navy announced a $150 million contract with Lockheed Martin for the production of two more LAWS units to be delivered in 2020. One will be fitted to USS Arleigh Burke, DDG-51, while the other will be used for land-based testing. Further contract options could bring its value to $942.8 million. That's the information for today, see you at the next military information, so don't forget to continue to support the Power Struggles Military channel, so that we are more enthusiastic about providing the latest information for you. Thank you for watching to the end.